His Royal Highness, Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SEW, Princess Abicha bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of being honoured with the Arab Women Medal from the Arab League, in appreciation of her empowerment of Arab women. Her, His Royal Highness expressed pride in Her Royal Highness's role and contributions in favour of Arab women and her leadership of large projects and achievements that confirm Bahraini women's status in the Bahraini community under the directives of His Majesty King Hamid van Isa Al Khalifa to support women's empowerment programmes in various sectors. He also wished Her Royal Highness abundant health and success. In reply, Her Royal Highness Princess Abicha expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Deputy of His Majesty the King to support Bahraini women and the work of the SEW. She expressed pride in passing the empowerment stage, integrating women's needs to ensure equal opportunities. Her Royal Highness wished the Deputy of His Majesty the King further success. His Royal Highness, Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized today the inauguration of the Bahrain Defence Force Officers Club on the occasion of the 49th annual BDF Day. On arrival, the Deputy King, accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Defence Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Daya bin Sakhar Al Naimi, and other senior officers. After that, the Deputy King toured the new BDF facility, which will be dedicated to social, cultural and entertainment events for servicemen. He went on to highlight that the BDF, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has made an invaluable contribution to the security of the GCC over the course of the forces' history and continues to play an instrumental role in support of current operations to restore peace and stability in the region. His Royal Highness congratulated BDF members on inaugurating the new club and highlighted the various services the club provides, as well as its role in enhancing the infrastructure of administrative services for the members of the BDF. He expressed thanks and appreciation for all contributions to establish this project and wished the country and its people further progress, prosperity and many happy returns.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the Gulf Industry Fair for 2017. His Royal Highness affirmed the keenness of the government to develop national industries by providing them with a suitable environment and facilities, noting the government's support for all initiatives towards Gulf industrial integration. He stated that the Gulf Cooperation Council, or GCC countries, are capable of competing regionally and globally with their industries and products, highlighting the importance of exhibitions organized by the private sector in promoting national and Gulf industries. His Royal Highness noted that economic integration between GCC countries provides many opportunities to encourage Gulf investment in establishing major industrial projects, expressing appreciation to complete the requirements of the Gulf Union. He added that investment in the industrial sector is one of the tools that form the basis for the government in its goal to diversify its revenue sources. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of the fair for providing opportunities for specialised companies to promote their products. He thanked the organisers of the fair and the participants in it, wishing them success. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Syed bin Rashid Al Zayani, thanked His Royal Highness for patronising this fair, stating that it affirmed the keenness of the wise leadership to attract diverse global investments and new technologies. He noted that the support the industrial sector receives in the kingdom, highlighting Bahrain's economic vision 2030. He added that the fair receives tremendous support from industrial organisations of all levels in the kingdom.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, said that the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to allocate a half workday for sports activities on the occasion of Bahrain's National Sports Day has contributed to the success of the event and promoted exercise to be a behaviour daily for citizens and residents. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that their National Sports Day came for the citizens' and residents' love of sports. He added that it aims to expand community participation in sports and physical activity and to increase active participation rates. His Highness also added that it aims to spread the culture of sports to increase awareness of their importance. He expressed pride in all ministries and private and civil sectors that organised many sports activities on the day. And he hailed the role of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Bahrain Olympic Committee in the success of the event. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed that Bahrain Sports Day is an embodiment of the wise leadership's directives to promote the culture of sports within Bahraini society. His Highness Sheikh Khalid lauded the decision of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to allocate a half workday for sports activities, directing all ministries, institutions and government bodies to organise the sports events, which he said reflects His Royal Highness's aspiration towards developing awareness among all segments of society of the importance of exercising and a healthy lifestyle. He praised the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to work towards establishing Bahrain Sports Day in line with the steps taken by the Gulf Cooperation Council, achieving the vision of the Majesties and leaders of the GCC to allocate national sports days. His Highness directed Bahraini youths to participate in the sporting event, expressing his gratitude and appreciation to all sectors of the government. He commended the immense efforts made in preparation for the various events by the organising committee, chaired by the General Secretariat of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs and the Bahrain Olympic Committee. Under the patronage of the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, the BMMAA, and founder of the Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa Mixed Martial Arts Organisation, KHK MMA, his Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a press conference was held yesterday to officially announce Bahrain's hosting of the fourth edition of the World Championships of Amateur AAA, MAA. The championship will be organised by the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation, IMAF, in cooperation with the BMMAA in November. His Highness expressed pride in the Kingdom for hosting the championship, affirming it's a clear confirmation of the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in translating the vision of the wise leadership to attract World Championships to Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said the establishment of the fourth World Championships of Amateur MMA in Bahrain is a clear evidence of the successful steps to promote the culture of sports in the region. He praised IMAF for granting Bahrain the hosting rights, stressing that it is a clear step to strengthen joint cooperation between Bahrain and IMAF. Uh, it's an amazing feeling in terms of uh, signing the uh, contract today. It's a historical moment for both uh, parties. So for IMAF as the International uh, uh, Mixed Martial Arts Federation and as myself as the president, it's an honour to be here back in Bahrain. And it shows the commitment of Bahrain to uh, be the host uh, federation in stage of the 2017 World Championships. It's very significant, it shows the, the clear development of the sport in the Middle East and uh, also in Asia. Uh, as it says, it's the fastest growing sport and it's important for us to have a balance and to support those uh, newer federations to get them to be on the same level playing field as America and Brazil and other uh, federations that have had uh, early successes within the sport and, and within its development. So coming here sets a benchmark for the rest of the federations and it gives a level playing field and it gives hope for the rest of the newer federations that will become part part of the family and part of uh, the development of uh, the amateur sport in MMA. It, it's paramount really, we talk about the recognition of the sport, so the perception of the sport is important. There was a question that was asked that, you know, how 
uh, dangerous is the sport and really that's our job to make sure that people understand that the safety elements that we put in the sport is of a gold standard to look after the athletes. It's paramount that we uh, look after um, all athletes whether that be amateur or professional and uh, that's the, the thing that uh, ourselves and Bahrain are promoting is in one youth development, two in terms of the pathway for amateur to professionals in a safe environment and what I call as a gold standard in terms of uh, the, the medical conditions around the, the, around the sport. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today the weekly meeting where the Council approved issuing a statement praising His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's Youth Empowering Award at the UN headquarters. The meeting approved a report on amending some laws regarding the Central Bank of Bahrain. The Council also approved a draft law regarding rehabilitation and employing people with special needs. The meeting discussed a draft law regarding amendments to laws of social and cultural associations and clubs, private industries and authorities concerned with youth and sports. The meeting then approved a proposal regarding the acquisition of land next to Damasan Coast instead of selling it. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the 7th of February is allocated as a National Sports Day. Ministries, government bodies and sports unions organised a number of programmes and activities to allow people of different ages to participate under the goal of prioritising sports as a lifestyle in the present and future. The Kingdom of Bahrain today witnessed a true sporting atmosphere, enhancing and encouraging local sports and competitions. The activities highlighted the capabilities of Bahraini society and the importance of exercising. The first ever Bahrain Sports Day was held today and covered all parts of the country. More than 10 ministries, 4 governorates, 28 sports federations, national and expatriate sports clubs in addition to the youth centres were all part of the multi-sporting event. We're very happy today to, ha to witness the uh, first uh, Bahrain uh, National Sports Day. I'm sure that it's going to be here for generations to come. What we're trying to do is uh, to reach out to community members and to push the, no the notion of uh, a healthy lifestyle. We are happy to celebrate this occasion for the first time in Bahrain. Uh, it emphasized the importance of physical activity for uh, everybody and for the community. It should be part of our community culture. It was a fun and activity-filled day for all parties involved, and lots of sports-related companies took part in the event. I think it's a good opportunity to encourage the people to, uh, for sport, and at the same time, uh, that also a lot of students and the beginner of sport to know what we have, especially in Bahrain, of different sports, and, and it's a good opportunity also for the associations in Bahrain to uh, present the rules of different games. So, at the same time, we are also representing some service which is related to sport in Bahrain. It's good to uh, spread the culture of sport, having a healthy and an active lifestyle uh, amongst both the youth and the adults, and to basically shape the future with a healthy uh, being. Well, this is definitely one of a kind experience. I mean, it's a first for me, actually, but it's not the first for Bahrain, but it's a, the first um, activity day a national activity day for, for Bahrain and I mean you can feel the good vibes here, you can see the colors and all. The first Bahrain National Sports Day was a definite success and helped promote sports and healthy living in the country. For Bahrain News, I'm Shogun Mohammed.